Stellantis says it's going to convert diesel-powered vehicles to electric ones for $20,000 each. Sounds kind of amazing, actually. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Hope you've had an amazing week, or at least, you know, a pretty good one. Stellantis, they make a lot of interesting comments. Their most recent uh, statements say that actually it's pretty easy to convert a diesel powered vehicle to an electric one. I don't know if this is true, but there are other companies that have now sprung up who are converting internal combustion engine vehicles to electric ones at really low prices. And it seems as though actually the cost to do this has come down significantly over the past year alone. I mean, this is probably partly driven by the massive reduction in battery costs over the past year as well. Now, Stellantis is saying they're going to convert used diesel vehicles to electric ones for less than $20,000. And how are they going to do this? Well, they're going to use government incentives to help them lower the prices. So this is a big part of this big part of the solution, say Stellantis. Stellantis recently revealed its updated light commercial vehicle range in Europe, but it doesn't neglect the pre-facelifted versions. The automotive group plans to offer the option of converting diesel-powered vehicles to fully electric ones, giving them a second chance in life starting in 2024. So this is kind of a good idea. Could be an old vehicle, maybe a diesel engine is you know, on the way out, might need to be replaced soon. And instead of trying to you know, get rid of it, the vehicle's used, you can give it a new life, turn it into an electric vehicle. The vehicles in question are the Peugeot Expert, the Citroen Jumpy, and the Opel Vauxhall Vivaro. Now, apparently also the Fiat Scudo and the Toyota Pro Ace will be included in this program. The diesel to EV conversion could be expanded to passenger versions, as well as the vans that are currently being planned. Now, Zeva Peugeot, who is head of Stellantis Vans business unit, told Automotive News in Europe that the goal of this EV conversion project is to make zero emission vans more affordable to small business owners who, well, they don't want to buy a brand new vehicle. And buying, to be fair, buying a brand new electric van right now is still not that cheap, still not at all that affordable. By the end of this year, it'll be much cheaper. We've just seen new new electric vehicles come out, new new commercial electric vehicles come out recently that are massively less expensive than what they were last year. But still, yeah, it's still pricey to get an electric commercial vehicle. Stellantis are saying this will make it much more affordable. The price will be less than 21,000 US dollars per vehicle. And the program will initially be focused on France, taking advantage of government incentives, which can cover as much as 40% of the cost. Meaning in France, you can potentially convert your old internal combustion engine vehicle to an EV for only $11,000. Sounds almost too good to be true, but actually, apparently, Stellantis say it's the real deal. The only trick, the only, the only kind of um, catch to this deal is that you've got to drive the vehicle at least 6,000 miles, which is 3,700 kilometers before you can sell it. Not very much distance, to be honest. You could probably do that distance in a few months. So what they're doing is they're actually removing the old two liter, um, obviously they're called blue HD diesel engines. So they're called blue diesel engines, but they're actually very, very polluting. And they're definitely not blue at all uh, for cleaner, fully electric powertrains. And Peugeot have said that the converted examples will have a credible range, but they're saying the range will be between 139 to 220 miles. So not a huge range, but it's probably still enough for you know most places in Europe. Vehicles will have a 50 kilowatt hour and 70 kilowatt hour battery pack option and a single electric motor with 134 horsepower, which is 100 kilowatt and 260 newton meters of torque. So. These aren't amazing numbers, but considering it's only going to cost about $11,000, I think this sounds incredible. And considering these vehicles would have been just thrown in the trash heap because they're, uh, they have old engines now that are getting worn out, they would have been wasted. It's like, um, you know, making something out of nothing. I love this idea. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye.